What's good, YouTube? It's JD. I'm coming back at you today with a very special video. But first things first, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you hit that sub button for me. Uh, drop a like as well. That helps me out a lot. Turn on the noties. All that usual YouTube stuff. So today, uh, first things first, just want to let you know, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are still NBA champions. And today I'm bringing you my Yantis Antetokounmpo build for NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Um, I mean, I don't know what more I could say about Giannis. Obviously, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, as a lot of you probably know, are my favorite team. And to see them finally pull through last year in the finals and, and win that championship was, was a very cool thing for me. And Giannis was an absolute stud in the playoffs. Um, you know, with the injury scare and everything, didn't know if he was even going to play in the finals, but uh, he most definitely did, and he dominated. Um, he averaged somewhere around 30 points, uh, just shy of 13 boards and around 5 assists during the playoffs last year, including that 50-point, 14-board uh, monster game that he had to close things out in Game 6 last year. Um, like I said, I was super happy. I still am. Obviously, Bucks going in as defending champs, people are going to say, well, they didn't play a, a full Nets team. You know, they didn't play this team. They, you know, this guy was out, whatever. At the end of the day, the banner is still going to be raised. The Bucks are still champs. And that's all I got about Oh, I got to say about that. Um, but leave a comment down below who you think the favorite is going into the NBA season with all the uh, offseason moves and everything happening. Um, I think the Bucks have a pretty strong chance. Obviously, you know, injuries and everything are going to play a factor. But, um, you know, we'll see. Can the Nets bounce back with, with their full squad? And, you know, is there going to be other teams? The Lakers, obviously, with all the moves they made. Um, you know, some other teams out there made some big moves. So, so let me know what you think. But... Well, like I said, we're going to bring you my uh, my my attempt at a Giannis Antetokounmpo build for next gen. And I say my attempt because Giannis is one of those unique players, um, you know, like a, a Kevin Durant or like a Michael Jordan or a Kobe or one of those guys that can do so many different things that it's so hard to replicate their type of a build. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, player videos. I got a couple of couple others already in the pipeline that I'll be dropping later this week, so um, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are in the builder, as you can see, uh, we've got Giannis, we're going the power forward position, uh, we're going right-handed and we're using Giannis' jersey number 34. Um, now Giannis goes somewhere around 6'10 to 7 foot and probably around 240-ish or thereabouts, but being this is 2K, you're a little bit limited and obviously it's a lot more difficult to go with actual player heights. So we're going with the lower end of, it, of, of his presumed height, around 6'10, and we're going 213 on this particular build. Um, and we're going with wingspan, max wingspan of 7'8, and then obviously body shape doesn't matter. We're going build to, I think it's a pretty good Giannis representation. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. So for the build itself, here's here's kind of what I came up with, and I'll give you my reasonings for, for doing what I did. Um, first on the finishing, obviously Giannis finishes crazy well around the rim. Um, you know, I'd like to have the standing dunk at 99, but it, it just costs too many extra points and takes away from too many other things when you're trying to create a build of, of this type. So I backed it down to 95, which still gives you all of the, the big man contact dunks and everything like that. And then we put an 84 driving dunk on top of that. So in addition to all the big man contact dunks, you're going to be able to get the regular contact dunks on this as well. Um, 80 driving layup, can you get that silver acrobat? Overall, this build's gonna finish really well around the rim, as does Giannis, obviously, uh, with the Euro steps and, and the big nasty dunks and everything. You're gonna have a full repertoire of, of finishing moves. Um, now, I didn't put any post control on there. Giannis isn't really one to catch the ball and block it and go into a whole lot of whole lot of nasty post moves. You know, he's not a Shaq type of player. He's more of a slashing type, you know, wing, big man, hybrid, you know, whatever you'd like to call him. So that's why I didn't put anything on the post control. Now, on the shooting, the shooting's a little tricky. Um, again, yeah, Giannis himself isn't a great shooter. Um, you know, he's, he's got better over the last couple of years. He's, he's averaging somewhere around 30% or thereabouts from three. Um, you know, he's obviously trying a lot more threes, you know, now he's, he's tried to add a little, that little Kobe post fade on the baseline into his repertoire. So, you know, we, we put a little shooting on here, but we didn't go anything too mad crazy. We gave him a 74 three ball. 
and a 70 on the mid range for 16 shooting badges. Um, on the playmaking, now Giannis is a, obviously a great playmaker, great passer. Uh, so we're going to go with a 78 pass accuracy. Uh, we're going ball handle of a 72, uh, which is, I believe will unlock a couple of the, the different dribble moves so you, you don't have just all of the, the basic dribble moves and everything. And then speed with ball, obviously you're kind of capped out at, at this height on how fast you can go. I would I would probably move that up just a little bit. Um, I know Giannis is a little deceiving. You know, he has some big long strides, you know, when he does some big euros, he can go from the three-point line to the hoop, you know, in, in a couple of steps. So it looks like he's moving uh, really fast, which he is, but... Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go to 62 with their speed with ball and then obviously on the defense You know, we got to put a lot of defense on there for being a Giannis type build. We're going with, with 80 interior um, We're gonna go with 77 on the perimeter 78 on the steel, which is gonna give us gold interceptor We're going 97 on the block, which is just high enough to give us Hall of Fame rim protector uh, chase down intimidator uh, You know Giannis defensive you know, player of the year recently um, Got to have that up there, and then we're going with 83 on the offensive rebound and 91 on the defensive rebound. And, and 91 is kind of that magic, gives you that gold uh, rebound chaser. So we got access to a lot of the great defensive badges here. Um, you know, overall, I think it's a pretty good badge spread. You know, you look at 22, 16, 18, and 33, and then with a the college option. Uh, for me, I would consider either doing the two finishing and, and two defensive, or even going all four um, on the defensive side as far as loading up a couple of extra badge points for this particular build. Um, again, down on the physicals, with a player this height, you know, this size, again, you're a little bit limited, so we're going 73 on the speed, 71 on the acceleration, 55 on the strength, 80 on the vertical, because, you know, Giannis gets up there crazy high when he's grabbing boards and blocking shots and, and you know, his dunking, all, all of that. And then we're going 90 on the stamina. So all in all, this was my attempt at making a Giannis Antetokounmpo type build in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, one thing you might notice, I kind of made this as a part type build. I didn't put any free throw on here. Some of you might say a, a 25 free throw is pretty accurate for Giannis. Um, you know, even though he did shoot 17 of 19, uh, in that last finals game, he, he struggles a little bit from the line. You know, he's, I think, 55-ish percent thereabouts uh, free throw shooter. So, you know, obviously you could take a couple of points away here or there and add a little bit to the free throw if you wanted to make this build for for rack or pro-am or, or whatever. Obviously, you're going you're gonna to want some free throw in there. But, again, I'm making this primarily as a park build, so that's why I didn't put any free throw on there. Um... Then for your takeovers, you're going to get the options of, of sharp takeover, which obviously would be pretty nice on a build like this. You're going to get options of locked takeover, rim, and the glass take. So uh, for Giannis, I put stuff blocks. You know, obviously he, he's crazy with the, the chase downs and the big time blocks and things like that. Uh, you saw a couple of the blocks that he had in the finals, the one on eight and on the alley oop to help save the game. Um, and then I just threw on glass clearing dimes as a second takeover. And then as you can see, it gives you a build name of a two-way facilitator, which I think is a perfect build name for Giannis, actually. I mean, he, he could be like a two-way slashing playmaker, obviously, but a two-way facilitator is a great name for him. All right, I'm going to throw in a little bonus for you. I'm going to give you the face creation that I came up with for Giannis. Um, let me know what you think about it. Uh, appreciate you all for stopping by. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, uh, drop a like for me, um, and I'm out of here. I'm going to let this roll out. Peace.